Shalom, good morning, praise to Yehovah, Hashem, Yahweh, Shalom, Hashem, Kakodash. I'm going to entitle this uh, video, Current Events, News and Prophecies, which is current events, it's news. Um, hyperinflation, hyperinflation, hyperinflation. I'm not going to make this too long, but let's see where the spirit takes me. Anyway, what I did was I, I went and I, I typed in hyperinflation in the Google search engine. Uh, hyperinflation is a term to describe rapid, excessive, and out of control general price increases in an economy. While inflation, inflation is a measure of the pace, right? Inflation, the difference between inflation and hyperinflation is the pace that they produce money. When I say produce money, I say print it in the form of papers. And also um, when you go to the central banks, um, uh, when, they, when they put this, the one with the zeros behind it, <laughs> mumbling over my words, you know, when you when you get a uh, a credit card, that money that you get, if it, let's say you get a ten thousand dollar limit on a credit card, that money is created out of thin air. That money doesn't exist. But as soon as you say, "I'm going to take all that money out and I'm going to spend the ten thousand dollars," you you created money. You, you you created debt. All right, and that's what they want. How do they get their money back? Through interest, usury, the scriptures speak against usury. If we're all brothers and we're Christian brothers, you know, you wouldn't have a thing called usury in this country. And so while inflation is a measure of the pace of rising prices because of the, va the value of the dollar, the dollar loses its value for goods and services, Hyperinflation is rapidly rising inflation, typically measuring more than 50% per month. We're not quite in a hyperinflationary uh, uh, scene right now, sense right now, but uh, let's say you buy a pack of chicken for $10. Hyperinflation would mean the following month, it would be $15. The, the month after that, it would be well, 15 plus seven and a half. So we're talking $22. And hyperinflation, when it's you know, out of control, the prices go up you know, hour by hour uh, from the morning to the, to the midday to the night, prices constantly go up and that's what's happening with your gas prices, it's going, that's hyperinflation. Okay, it says, okay, here's uh, prices going up, skyrocketing. Prices are sky, sky high, skyrocketing. The prices are not actually going up, even though you see it that way. I mean, the prices do go up, but in reality, it's the, it's the value of the money that goes down. It says, people also ask, can, no, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me go to the news. There's hyperinflation coming. A central bank fa failure means we will crash into depression or rocket into hyperinflation. So, which means higher pr prices. Every time you turn around, the price is going up. So it's the key call. So it's the key call. My thesis is this hy hyperinflation is, I'm not gonna read the, the, the rest of it. Uh, what is this, COPD, uh, lung hyperinflation set, I don't want, uh, Venezuela curbs hyperinflation. This was six days ago from DW. This is a, a site based out of Germany. Venezuela curbs hyperinflation as dollar use grows despite a new 3% tax on foreign currency 
which is a tariff, uh, transacts in Venezuela is, is, is expecting a, let me, I'm gonna go into this. Let me go into this. Despite a new three three percent tax on foreign currency transactions, which that's a smart thing that Venezuela is doing, the government is doing. Venezuela is, is experiencing de facto dollarization of its economy. The adoption of the U.S. currency helped curb hyperinflation, but it's now creating new problems. I'm not going to read all into it. Stagflation, that's pretty much a, a new term. Uh, fares rise with higher prices, lower growth. As prices saw in Turkey, which is inflation, uh, poverty and discontent deepen. As prices saw in Turkey, poverty and discontent deepen. Same thing, Venezuela, Venezuela uh, slashes six, six zeros from the inflation. Uh, uh, battered Bolivia, that's the dollar. And that's what they did in um, uh, Zimbabwe. You had a, people, everybody became multi-billionaires because of a billion dollars, um, Zimbabwean billion dollars probably worth $1 in America. Then what the president did, Robert Mugabe, he started cutting off zeros from uh, the money. El Salvador, El Salvador uh, doubles down on Bitcoin despite crash. Oh, so there was a crash. Let me, let me click on that. Remember, they were the first on this side of the world to uh, adopt uh, uh, cryptocurrencies. El Salvador doubles down on Bitcoin despite crash, but made one of the worst crashes in Bitcoin history. What's the date of this? Doesn't give you the date. Down on its on its bet, uh, adding 500 tokens to the country's national reserve. Let me come back. Let me click on this as prices saw in Turkey, poverty and discontent deepen. And if you ask me, is it coming over here? It's pretty much here. It's just, it's just matters are going to get worse. So let me see this here. This it's it's where, where is it? Uh, thirteen. Uh, thirteen. Uh, 1,680. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is how many Turkish dollars you need to buy American. I can't, I, I don't understand. It doesn't say anything. You know what? Let me bring this back. Okay, inflation, inflation, 
and food prices fuel social tensions in Argentina. But this is as of uh, May 14, two days ago, with annual inflation up 58% in April, there is pressure on Argentina's government to introduce effective countermeasures. Tens of thousands of people have pr protested on the streets. You know, CNN is not talking about that. The whole world is catching hell. It goes in Germany. German, German consumers could see price hikes last 10 years. Economist warns. The head of the government, the German Institute for Economic Research, has said an e increase in wages and government investment is absolutely necessary to soften the blow of rising prices from inflation. Japan, Japan, all over the world, inflation, people are suffering from inflation because every nation's money system is based upon it as a debt-based currency, fiat currency. Japan, inflation rises due to, to the crown, Vicky. Japan, inflation, inflation, and inflation rises due to the Crown Vicky and Ukraine war. And that's what the president is playing. Well, it's just uh, the Crown Vic and it's Ukraine war is what Russia did. You know, president, real leaders don't do that. They don't make excuses. Oh, it's that guy that did it. Oh, it's this guy that did it. What are you going to do about it? They said Japan has experienced sharp prices, price rises, since the uh, 1970s, but its economy is now feeling the aftershock of the, of the, you know, the Crown Vicky and the war in Ukraine. So you can use war as an excuse. Okay, this is uh, Bitcoin news, rich dad, poor dads, Robert Kiyosaki warns hyperinflation, claiming that hyperinflation and depression are here. He's in America, so he's talking about America. The famous author recommends buying gold, silver, and Bitcoin before the uh, coyote, coyote wakes up. Two hours ago, Bernanke, former Fed head chairman, says the Fed's slow response to inflation was a mistake. The Fed's slow response to inflation was a mistake. Mistake. Well, they did it. They were the one that started. The Fed started the, this whole ball rolling. One thing the Fed has going going for it is that the current inflation, inflation run while drawing uh, comparisons to the hyperinflation of the late 1970s. Where to, where to invest your savings during hyperinflation? Interest rates and inflate, and by the way, they're raising, they're raising interest rates and they're talking about raising taxes. Everything across the board is going up. Prices are going up. So who does it affect? It affects the middle class and, the, and anybody below the middle class. It doesn't hurt the super rich. I'm talking about people that are worth billions of dollars. If you got a billion dollars, you're doing pretty good. A billion dollars is a thousand, is a million times a thousand. You got a stack of a million, a, a thousand stacks of a million, that's a billion. You got guys out there that are worth 50 billion, 150 billion, 200 billion. They're not going to be affected by this. It says where, where to invest your savings during hyperinflation, interest rates, and inflation tend to move in the same direction because the benchmark interest rate is one of the 
monetary pol policies used by Apex. Terror temporarily halts, halts, halted its blockchain as its native asset, Luna, has suffered through extreme hyperinflation and price, uh, price collapse. Let me click on this. Terror temporarily halts. Um, block, blockchain as Luna hyperinflation uh, and implodes 99% in one. Ooh, that's bad. That's hyperinflation. That's bad. That's not too good. Let me come back. Okay, I spoke about Zimbabwe, right? We're open for business. President said the Zimbabwe, the Zimbabwe shut. I can't read the rest of this. The Zimbabwe shut down. I'm just skimming through this. Let me go over here. It's the latest in a series of economic mis missteps that seen Zimbabwe ride a roller coaster of hyperinflation and periodic shortages of food and fuel. What is everybody in America worried about? Food. They're not worried about the uh, getting a, a hundred inch flat t TV, smart TV. They're not necessarily worried about getting a car because they have cars, you can keep fixing them. They're worried about fuel and they're worried about they're worried about food. That's when people panic. You can't eat at the heart of the economic, what, what happened? Bear me for a minute. This, this page jumped on me. Okay. At the heart of the economic malaise is a currency policy that's that's re retarded growth, uh, gouge gouge business businesses and costs it cost citizens their savings. So you figure you got, you have a nest egg, you got to go into your nest egg. That's called, uh, also called dis disposable income. They are desperate to have their own national currency, even though they have nothing of value to underpin it. Said Stephen Chan, a professor of world politics at the School of Oriental and Asian Studies in London. It's an act of desperation. It makes legitimate business almost impossible. Zimbabwe's economy woes began in 2000 when then President Robert Mugabe encouraged invasion of white owned commercial farms by substance, subsistence farmers. Let me read that again. Zimbabwe's economic woe began in 2000 when then President Robert Mugabe encouraged invasion of white 
own commercial farmers by subsistence farming, farming or farmers. So it was a, the white man was behind it. Ex, export earnings, uh, export meaning you send stuff out from one, you produce something in one country, send it to another country, like China to America and around the world collapsed and the US and European Union impose, impose sanctions. See, this is what this, these policies of the EU and the US, well, it said the US and European Union. So they work together. The beast, the 10 horns, the woman that sits upon the beast, exports, export earning collapse, and the US and European Union impose sanctions, tipping the economic economy into a downward spiral. So this is all behind what Esau does that led to the hyperinflation estimated by the International Monetary Fund. International Monetary Fund, we know all about that, at more than 500 billion percent in 2008. So the, so the, it, the uh, problem lied with the you know, US and, and the European Union and the International Monetary Fund. The, Zimbab the Zimbabwe dollar was abandoned in favor of the US currency <clears throat> that was only restored in mid 2019 by finance minister Muthuli uh, Kubi, however you say it, an, an economist professor who has taught at Oxford University. It hasn't been a success. While a a uh, precursor, pre precursor to the Zimbabwe dollar was pegged at the uh, par uh, parity with the greenback, which is the US dollar, in February of 20, oh, 2019. It now trades at an official rate of 173, which means um, I believe that's $173 to one, to one American dollar, if I'm not mistaken an interbank rate of $280 and a black market rate of much of as much as 420. Anytime, anytime you get something on the black market, you're gonna pay more money because you're desperate. So let's come back. Okay, Lynette Zhang, I listen to her. She deals with gold and silver. Uh, this was put up three weeks ago. Uh, Lynette Zhang, gold, silver, and more. What to own in a hyper, hyper inflationary depression? Because we're in a hyper inflationary, it's, it's, good, it's gonna get faster. Prices are gonna go up much faster. This was as a one week Al Jazeera dollar o'clock. Should Zimbabwe ax its faltering currency again? So they messed up again. Bear me for a minute. I can hardly see this. This, this Southern African state once adopted US dollars legal tender when the hyperinflation rendered its currency worthless, worthless Zimbab Zimbabwean dollar. I'm not gonna read the rest of it. So what they did was they, they adopted the, uh, the dollar, the, the thing that they took money, when, when you went to buy something in Zimbabwe, you, if you gave them a Zimbabwean dollar, they wouldn't take it. Even if it, if it said, even if it said a million dollars on it, but they would take the US dollar, Federal Reserve note, because it was strong at that time. So now the US is suffering that right now, but 
Because of what? Because of hyperinflation. And let me end it on this. <clears throat> you already know I'm going to go. I'm going to go right to the point. Let me go right to the point. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. The wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. This, this uh, hyperinflationary Thing that's going on is, is affecting the whole earth. We read a story about a Turkey, Turkey out of Venezuela, Zimbabwe, they talk talking about tanking the dollar, their dollar again, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Who's the author of wickedness? You know who. That's why Habakkuk 2 is going to come to pass, the whole chapter. And scriptures say, as, as, as death and cannot be satisfied. This man cannot be satisfied. Who laid it himself with, uh, with thick clay. And that word there in the Hebrew is ibatya, which means depth, thick, heavy depth. I will hold my tongue and no more is touching their wickedness. Whose wickedness? The wicked, <clears throat> which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those, in those things. In which they wickedly, who is it talking about? Esau, exercised himself. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. That's us on the highways and the byways doing the sit downs. And the souls of the just complain ten continually. Uh, Ezekiel uh, 9, verse 4. You put a mark on the head, forehead of who? The ones that cry inside. This is what we're waiting for. 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch, forth, stretch out arm and smite Egypt. We know it's not talking about ancient Egypt. With plagues. Egypt is being plagued right now. And the plagues are going to get worse. As before. And will destroy all the land thereof. Um, Isaiah 13. Destroy the whole land. Fourteen verse. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. We're just hitting the, opening the door of Jacob's trouble for the sword, the modern day sword is a gun and their destruction draw up nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another people and swords in their hands. Modern day sword is a gun. And there shall be sedition, look up the word sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings, the presidents, the government leaders, governors, nor princes, government leaders, and the course of their action shall stand in their power. That's the break, breaking down the governments. And a man shall have no, uh, no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So the person that you knew for 40 years, that you were friendly with, they're going to look at you like the enemy and they're going to see this moment. We got food in, in the house. I'm going to bust his door open, put a, put a rifle to his a, uh, AR-15 to his, to his uh, head and get his, and get his goods. So it's going to get desperate. And this is all happening by design. Anyway, with that, I, I said I wasn't going to make this long. I'm going to say Shalom.